So once your agar is ready and has been auto clicked, um, you can then pour it. So I'm going to show you how to pour agar plates and also how to pour a slope culture. So firstly, once, as soon as you're working with microorganisms or with agar, because you don't want to contaminate it with anything that's in the environment or on your own body, you work using aseptic technique. So before I started the video, I've given the bench a wipe down with an anti or antimicrobial spray and then I placed everything that I need within a working zone and I want to work as close as, as I can to the flame with that it's safe to do so. So you sh I can feel the heat of my Bunsen burner back here and so then I know I'm within the aseptic zone whereby any bacteria in the air um, is being essentially sucked into the flame and killed. So there should be nothing that will contaminate within this area. So take a petri dish and I take them in stacks of three because I find I can hold that well with my hands and wait until your agar is cooled down a bit so you might want to put it in a water bath at about 55 degrees once it gets below 50 degrees it will start to solidify so try and keep it above so this is still fairly warm but I know it's okay for me to pour so when I come to open it I'm going to again keep it within the close to the flame and I always just flame the neck of the bottle just to make sure there's no microbes. Then I'm gonna lift the agar so to show you what I'm doing take my hand away and you can see there's a depth of about half of the agar plate. To make a slope culture, so I have these little vials and they were autoclaved to kill off any microbes in them and then I also put them in an oven at 105 degrees just to dry off the inside to make sure that there's nothing. And I know that about half full. So when you first come to pour slope agars, I would pour in a known volume of deionized water and try to find a way that you can actually slant it so that the agar will cover sort of a 45 degree angle from the bottom right up to just before where your lid is. So I've worked this out before and I know I add about 10 milliliters which is half full and then I find a file block of paper works quite well to just lean it against and then you just leave them there until they've set. So I'll just Oh, before I open it for aseptic technique, I want, because this has been sitting out in the air, there's now my, could be microorganisms on the top. So I'm just going to flame the lid, partly open it, flame it again, and then fill it at half full. Just give me a little drop more. And then once again, flame the lid, half close it, flame it again, and tightly close it. And at this point, then I can set it on my file block and that will give it an angle so that when it solidifies, it will look a bit like that and then I can add my microorganisms onto it. <laughs> 